Okay, this is a video tutorial about um, RIP and how RIP auto summarizes uh, cross classful network boundaries um, classfully because RIP version 1 is not able to include subnet masks, so it can't use variable length subnet masks, so it, it relies only on uh, classful networks. And so I've set this up here, and so the goal in this is to, is to show you how this functions in RIP and when it also will cause problems. So we've got um, two routers here connected. In between the two routers is the 10 network, 10.0.0.0 uh, .0 network slash 8. We've got 10.1 um, is on this interface, 10.2 is on this interface, 10.0.0.2, 10.0.0.1. Okay, then on the right side here, we've got the 192.168.2 network. This computer's dot 100, the router's dot 1, the 3 network dot 100 dot 1, um, the 4 network dot 100 dot 1. Then on this side, what we have is we have the situation where we've subnetted the 192.168.1.0 network slash 24. We've subnetted it into slash 26 networks okay and slash 26 networks the the subnet mask on a slash 26 is one two three four five six and the last one bit is in the 64's place so the networks go up by 64 so this is the 192.168.1.0 network slash 26 this is the 192.168.1.64 network slash 26 and this is the 192.168.1.128 network slash 26 now I gave the router I'm going to give I'm going to give the router the first usable host address in these three network spaces so for the zero network the first usable would be dot one so one dot one and then the next host would be one dot two and the computer the the host gets that 1.2. And you can see this labeled here. And so then for the 64 network, the router will be dot .65 and the host dot .66. And for the dot .128 network, the um, router will be dot .129 and the host will be dot .130. Okay. And so, and so that that's what I've got to set up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn on RIP and we're going to see how RIP functions with these subnetted, right, not classful subnets, right? Slash 26, slash 26, slash 26, those are not classful, right? Normally a 192.168.1 network would be slash 24, but we've subnetted it and we're going to subnet it on these router interfaces and then we'll see how RIP deals with it and how it will automatically summarize this address when RIP communicates this route to the neighboring router. Okay, so first off, we have to finish configuring two interfaces on the router. We have to conf finish configuring uh, Fast Ethernet 1, which is this interface, and then Fast Ethernet 6, which is this interface. So I'm going to select the router and we'll just do this. There's no other real configs on here, so I'll go to Command Line Interface and I'll go back to. Um, We'll start from the get-go here. So if I hit exit, this is where we would start out, right? And I'll hit enter, and I'll say enable to get to privileged user mode. I don't have passwords set on the router. And then I'll say configure terminal to get to global config mode. And then I'll use short commands, shorthand commands, interface, FA, and I think it was 1 slash 0. 1 slash 0, right? And for fast Ethernet 1 slash 0, which is this one, the interface will be dot .65. So IP address 192.168.1.65, and then the subnet mask and notice this is going to be a slash 26 subnet mask so it'll be dot 192 alright then I'll say no 
no shutdown and the interface should go up and we should see it go up here and sure enough you can see it going up right there right now this interface right here if we look if we hover over the router we'll figure out what interface it is I believe this interface is fast ethernet 6 slash 0 it's not set yet there's four fast ethernet interfaces uh, this is 0 slash 0, 1 slash 0, 6 slash 0, and 7 slash 0. So we'll do this one too. So I'll open up my command line interface. Interfaced FA 7 slash 0 to jump into the new interface, right? Other interface fast Ethernet 7. And we need to put an IP address. So I'm just going to go back and change this to the first address in the 128 network will be first usable address will be 129 right and then I'll type no shutdown and now that will go up alright so now as you can see that this should go up now let's see here oh that was seven I should have done six I'm sorry I messed that up so we're gonna have to change that um, interface fast ethernet 7 slash 0 is actually supposed to be 10.0.0.1 255.255 I mean 255.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. okay no shutdown and the interface we need to work on is actually 6 slash 0. So we'll do that. And we'll set that interface to 129. And then a no shutdown command. So now all of these interfaces are correct. So I replaced the correct IP address on this interface and then put the correct one here. So now you can see all of our interfaces going up. Switch, of course, is cycling through, uh, bringing the uh, port up on the port. It's going from a uh, shutdown state to a listening, to a learning, to a forwarding state. And that's why it's taking a little, few minutes there. So now that all the interfaces are, are configured, we have green lights on everything, right? We have no routes. There's no static routes, right? So this router, okay, if you look at the, we'll just take a quick look at the routing table. It has connected routes, okay? It sees the 1.0, the 1.64, and the 1.28 networks as connected routes. And it shows you that it's been subnetted into three subnets right here, right? So it has four connected routes, all right? So you can see that. And of course, we've got one network, two networks, three networks, four networks attached, connected networks to this router. And then this router also has four networks. We'll take a quick look at that. Okay. And that one has four networks. It has the 10 network going to the other router, and then the 2, the 3, and the 4, slash 24, right? So it's got connected networks, but this router, I'm looking at this router over here on the right, does not know about the other networks behind the left-hand router. And the left-hand router doesn't know about the routes on the right-hand router. It doesn't know about, it knows about these subnetted networks, right, that it has, but it doesn't know about these, this 2, the 3, and the 4 network, right? So we cannot ping across the network, right? And we'll just show you that. So this, this host right here is 1.2, and I'll try to ping 2.100 here, and you'll see that it'll fail. We'll say ping 192.168.2.100. All right, and you can see the reply from 1.1. Destination host unreachable. There's no route. So we're not going to be able to ping across the network if this router doesn't have a route to get to these networks. So what we'll do is we'll turn on RIP and we'll have RIP 